been waiting for this. Been waiting for a long time for this. Not not too long. But hey, we got some things today from the lacrosse world. That's right, I know. It's been a while since I did a video on lacrosse and anything related to lacrosse. But uh, just announced we have the Albany team. You know, the team that got relocated from, I don't remember, was it Connecticut or something like that? They got relocated from Connecticut for the National Lacrosse League. They have a name and a logo. They are now the Albany Fire Wolves. And kudos to them. I know they are assembling their coaching staff and their players and stuff like that right now. Um, and, you know, all that's good stuff. As far as, you know, the PLL goes, the Premier Lacrosse League, the one league that we've been anticipating, you know, they're scheduled to come out. You know, anticipating a lot of good things this year. Got their schedule out just a couple days ago, in fact, and I know a lot of people were upset, you know, at some things, you know, there's no games in Texas, there's no games in North Carolina, there's no games in Florida or Ohio, um, it's okay, it's perfectly fine, all I know is that my water dogs are hopefully going to, you know, do something this year, um, there's a lot of interesting things about the schedule, there's know a bunch of bye weeks which you know again I mean it's it's the Olympics this year you know the Olympics they got pushed back from 2020 now they're in 2022 um, so the Olympics affects some things of course you know there's some natural bye weeks in there as well but you know nine games for each team until the playoffs in late August and that's gonna be very fun hopefully you know, things go well this season. Hopefully we could, hopefully, you know, fans get to travel to games and stuff like that. And, you know, the season goes without a hitch. And I'm excited, you know, for the second season of my Water Dogs. Excited for the new team, the Cannons. Um, and, of course, the defending champs, the Whip Snakes, the two-time defending champs, the Whip Snakes. Of course, you know, just a lot of talent to go around. In the PLL, the NLL ain't no slouch. I'm expecting the schedule to come out for that league soon, because I mean, you know, November is, you know, it's creeping up. You know, you got about six months until the season starts. I believe, I believe the season's supposed to start November, but yeah, things are looking kind of, you know, look kind of weird right now, as far as that goes. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about, you know, either of these two things happening. You know, these were the two things that I wanted to get, you know, most out in the past few days. And these are the things that have been very interesting the past few days. Um, again, I know there's a, again, I know there's a lot of backlash, you know, about, you know, about not going to places like Texas or North Carolina or Florida, you know, but um, it's okay. Again, it's okay, PLL fans, it's okay. Hopefully, hopefully the TV schedule will be announced soon for the PLL2. That hasn't been announced yet. Um, I wonder what in the world is going to happen with that. You know, because remember, USA is now the home for a lot of stuff. And the NBC Sports Network is starting to die. In fact, it will be killed off at the end of the year. So I wonder you know, what in the world is going to happen there. What, what games are going to be on NBCSN? What games are going to be on NBC? For the PLL, what games are going to be on that shitty NBC Sports Gold thing? You know, because I don't like streaming apps. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. See you guys tomorrow.